Okay, for practice strokes today, I'm going to do some multiple flowers that are great fillers for a painting I just did I'm using multi surface. This is plaid folk art multi surface paint. It's satin and it's got a sealer in it. So it's really wonderful when you use this paint. And as we paint, I put down uh, some pearl by accident, but I'm just left that there. And these are the colors we're going to be using. I want to show you how pretty you can mix these colors together on a painting by themselves or add them to another painting like I just recently did on Oversize. So as we're getting ready here, I want you to, this is dioxazine purple and worker white, and I'm using a 16 flat. And remember, you wet it, lay it on the paper towel, take out the extra moisture out of that brush, and then you're ready to paint. So please subscribe and share and like anything that I, I'm doing here that makes you happy or helps you out. All right, so I'm going to go from here to here. So as I'm doing this, I'm laying the dark dioxazine purple into the middle. And my eyes are just looking at that outside edge. All right, I want a nice, clean white petal. At this point, I need to pick up some more because I ran out of color. See, I want some high and low strokes. And then I'm going to fit one right in the middle here. Okay, so we're going to have a nice center in here after we get going here. And right here where I overlap this, I'm just going to overlap another petal and flower right here so about five petals is what you want to do and if you have enough paint on your brush you can get five petals now look how much paint's on there a lot of paint and you can use medium but right now or not see if you're doing strokes you don't have to have a lot of medium if you have it loaded properly this paint's different than a lot of traditional acrylic paint because it does have the sealer in it. And with my technique, one stroke painting, you need a thicker paint to get the blending, shading, and highlighting. Okay, so there we go. Now, what I want to show you is it's kind of fun to take in here and slip, slap, slip, slap little bit i'm going to put some white in here as a little filler in between some of these you use a smaller brush for this but i want you to see that i'm coming in here with a little bit of real fun guys here all right and I think you guys have seen me, um, if you've been on for a while, where I use Q-tips sometimes. So let me show you that. I put a little hair tie and I will slide Q-tips, good Q-tips, don't get plastic ones, because you can bend these, all right? And which means the Q-tip brand. All right, so I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna push them all so they're down. And then I'm going to pick up some purple, maybe some violet pansy, and a little bit of white. Okay, can you see that? They're not all the same. And then you can take and tap these all in around and get a fun little splatter. All right, now let me show you the center. Now we're using, where's my quarter inch scruffy? it is so here's this quarter inch scruffy and the the green handles are what comes in my value pack okay so i just want you to see that you're going to fluff this okay now look over here i'm gonna <clears throat> pounce some citrus and then one edge of this is going to be sap just one little edge all citrus and a little bit of sap and you hold the sap down to the bottom and you carefully, really tight, pounce this and have the sap green. I rock it from 
left to right, like a smile right underneath. And that gives you the dark um, of the center and how it should be. Now, <clears throat> before I go any further with purple, I'm going to come in here with wicker white and daffodil yellow. And we're going to kind of do that same stroke. But let me show you what happens here. I'm going to take and from here to here and I'm going to go all the way around and you can even leave space between these. Okay. And it's all right if you see through it some because it's on black, it gives you, you can go over it a second time that gives you a nice shaded look when you're done. See how fast it is to go over that twice. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up some more daffodil yellow, wicker white. I'm gonna tell you again, because I can't remember if I told you, uh, the citrus green and the sap green is how I pounce with a scruffy. And by the way, the scruffy brush, make sure it is not wet when you use it. It's a dry load brush. You always load it dry or you'll have a mess. So I've done two rows in there. And the ruffled petals, now I'm going to come in here with a little bit more sap green. Let's get some more sap, a little bit of citrus. All right. And what I did do on this, it makes it kind of pretty. I took a script liner with thick white paint, not inky. And I just came in here. I didn't put stamens. I just put a little pollen on top. Just little bits of white. See my little fingers here? So then I can just tap my little finger. Fill that in. Isn't that kind of pretty? Okay, one last flower. I want to show you with a smaller brush. This is a 10 flat. And so what's going to happen here? This is a hydrangea. And I've shown you different hydrangeas. But in this collection, and where I put this into an oversized painting, these were the little small, you have small, medium, and large flowers as your painting. These were uh, the smaller. So you could um, do them in different sizes here. But that's about what size they were on the oversized. But if you use a 12 instead of a 16, it just makes this a little bit smaller for any canvas that you put it in. All right, so the first thing is I'm picking up with this 10. I made the area where it was gonna be. And let's go to the big guy here first. And so, you know, a crescent moon would be just like that, okay? So I don't hope y'all can see the difference. We don't want a rounded edge. We want it to be some pieces in and some pieces out. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. Now I'm sweeping back and forth with this darker corner of the brush over that um, violet pansy. Violet pansy is what I put under here. I don't think I said that. All right, so it mixes in a little bit with the violet pansy, right? So then I'm going to pick up violet pansy with that purple, dioxazine purple, and work this in so it's heavier. All right, and now I'm going to take the same brush. I can wipe off the excess paint a little bit, no water, and then I'm going to the lavender. Now there's light lavender and regular lavender or plain lavender. And so this is just lavender. I mean, most of the time we use the light lavender, so don't worry if you just have the light. It works great too. Okay. So see how it shades from dark to light? So it does all the work for you. You can even put a little bit of white 
right in here for a glow or citrus green. Sometimes I put the citrus green. To lighten that up. Okay, but wherever that light is, it has to be the same light in here. And I'm going reverse here. And a little bit of dioxazine. And wherever these colors hit on the main flower, they all should hit there. So dioxazine is down here. And then violet pansy into that. And then so I got a lot of paint there. I didn't need all that paint. Okay, so what's really good is to come in here and put a few little spots like I showed you earlier with these Q-tips. I had like 700 folders to paint and then I came around it and instead of slapping and doing all kinds of different little added color, I put some of this around where the, uh, the flower looked like it was more than just one hydrangea. <laughs> Excuse me. So you can just put this and not these. I just want you to see that. All right. And I just kind of lay this under a paper towel while I'm still working if I want to come back to it. All right. So now I'm going to take my 16 or my 12 and get sap and citrus and I'm just going to come right back on top of this. And the good thing is when it picks up a little bit of purple, it really makes it uh, very pretty too. See how it takes it with you? All right. So doesn't it kind of blend well together? Good colors. Hope you enjoy that. And practice, practice makes perfect. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.